Lord Adebowale, we've had a really frank discussion tonight. Uh, tell me, just give us a sort of summary of what you heard. Mm. Well, I think we heard um, from business uh, a desire or a recognition that they need to engage the public and that, that we are actually in, in, a, in a very bad place. I don't think it's just a case of repeating the same old business is good argument. They have to actually show that they've learned some lessons and that we've all actually moved forward. Um, I think what we've also heard is that government needs to be a bit more realistic about um, how they set contracts for public services, the whole issue of procurement and how the small and medium sized organisations can get involved, but also the pricing issue. You know, if we want social value, we want values to be present in contracting, then they have to be part of the legal structure that drives procurement. But we also heard the boss of Mighty saying that since the banking crisis and, you know, the, the fallout from all of that, actually nothing's really changed in terms of uh, government wanting businesses to add more social value in the contracts they let. That was slightly depressing, wasn't it? I think so, but that's why we're here, isn't it? I mean, the fact that she's saying nothing's changed is exactly the reason why public confidence is so low. The fact of the matter is things have to change. We have to see more partnerships between organisations like Mighty and social enterprises, for instance. We have to see, um, it's not really, I mean, the Social Value Act would be important in delivering better outcomes, for, uh, forcing that and putting legislation around it. But actually, it's about, it's about business saying, you know what, we need to be seen to be doing more than just making money. That is no longer sufficient. The public expects you to add value and make profit. And that's perfectly reasonable. You know, look at Lidl, for example. Uh, people are flocking to Lidl because they're trying to save every penny. You, you're not going to be able to persuade the public they need to pay more for public services so that they can have a sort of more socially valuable contract. I don't see why they should pay more. I, I really don't. I don't well, understand. Well, that means businesses taking a hit on their profits. Are you well, going to be able to persuade them to do that when they're just emerging from recession? Well, let, let, me, let me be clear. I mean, if you look at an organisation like John Lewis, they make sufficient profit. I don't buy the argument. I don't have a right to make a profit. No business has a right to make a profit. That's not the purpose of, of public service. The purpose of public service is to provide services to the public. Your job is to innovate such, in such a way that you can actually provide, for, deliver profit for your shareholders and deliver services to the public. Because the argument that says we, you have a right to make profit is exactly the, the argument that got us where we are now. You don't have a right to make a profit. Sorry. There was a lot of agreement tonight about the need for more transparency from businesses, but also government not being transparent enough. Uh, do you think that's going to change anytime soon? I think it's going to have to change. You know, the fact of the matter is that organisations like Turning Point, like Buddy, for instance, that have shown that we can deliver better value and at cheaper prices, um, it, that, that's what the public wants to see shifting. You know, they're sick of the same old, same old. So I, I do think that government. And it's not true to say that government haven't recognised this, but it's a very, very slow, slow journey and it's too slow for public opinion. And I do think we're going to have to accelerate the, the argument that says, actually, the way that public commissions, as well as procures, has to be a damn sight more, more transparent than it is at the moment. But to sum up, you're saying, fine to make a profit, but be a little bit less greedy, businesses. I'm saying that profit is fine, but you know the pursuit of profit alone is not only dangerous, but ultimately unsustainable. Lord Adebowale, thank you very much.